Hello everybody, how are you doing? Oh yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've shown our veggie beds here. What's happening behind the system? I did a, do a seven months update on the system itself, but not on the veggies. And I just felt inspired today, such a beautiful day. Uh, I haven't been in the system for a while. Uh, Cindy has been mainly doing the watering and the harvesting while I'm kind of busy in other parts of the land. Uh, and today I just came because I needed to, to spread a little bit of, uh, you know, a liquid fertilizer slash microbial uh, activity into my new bed that I planted just there and I always have a little bit of leftover that I put on the existing beds as well and oh it's just looking so gorgeous so I just decided I felt inspired let's say to to show to you to share to you how things are going as you can see the system is absolutely pumping uh, we kind of on the brink of a little bit of rain perhaps you know looking at the at the weather maps and the forecast seems like patterns are starting to change you know we're starting to see a little bit more clouds in the afternoon still still not much volume but you know it's the beginning of the pattern changing from cloudless to cloudy and then a little bit of a drizzle here and there and then the rain starts so it's exciting uh part of my decision not to put a new bed here because what i've been doing is just basically going over the existing uh veggie beds that have finished and just brought new veggies in and just kind of continue the cycle but now yeah, I'll, I'll share with you, uh, you know, some of my decisions just because uh, I just think that veg is too long in the system. You start to make mm, kind of questionable decisions because as you can see there, I probably need to manage that system for those veggies. Whereas I might not need to manage the system for the system itself. After all, I have managed maybe four or five, six or maybe six weeks ago. Uh, again, it's coming into the time of, of, uh, of, of managing the system, but... From now on, having veggies here means that I'm going to have to be keeping my rows a lot more open for them to, to have what they need. Um, but I probably need to keep my rows managed by themselves. But anyway, I'll show you. Let me see. Let's see what you think. So here we've got pretty much the oldest kind of beds in the system just really coming up to an end. Uh, we always have a bit of celery and things that stick around. Still a few broccoli, so plenty of of beetroot there that are not looking great to be honest they are feeling a little bit alone as well at the moment um but things are you know we've covered so much lettuce and so much stuff but still plenty of beetroot there we can see at the bottom a little bit of a cabbage there yeah here was kind of the not the last but one of the last kind of brassica beds and here we started to collect a bit of data on how things were going uh, in terms of how to how to what to plant next uh, allowing this beautiful cauliflower go to seed and probably gonna have some nice seeds that's the one that's supposed to have a a purple end uh, a purple top i don't know if they are hybrid or not we'll see but anyway this is this is it this is kind of three beds in a row uh they are pretty much coming to an end a little bit of lettuce coming back from being harvested um, and now just kind of waiting the next cycle which is not going to be veggies we're going to put both production and support in here things that will combine with the dynamics of the system um after all this is tree system these are an agroforest this is not a, a veggie production system even though the veggies are really nice in the beginning a few carrots here coming right at the end which is a little bit of an experiment to see how things are going yeah yeah difficult soil here for carrots really heavy clay and and i think that variety of carrots is probably not the best either here we've got probably our bed that it's in production i mean I think there's a couple of cycles of beds here it's really pumping as you can see absolutely stunning but you you know have a look at the mexican sunflowers have a look at the the size of the system you know i need to manage that system for the plants in the middle here uh, to open a little bit more sunlight but i won't be doing that i mean things are pretty happy we have seen some bees as well uh better beetroots looking here than down there uh, lots of kohlrabis uh, so here was still kind of mixing a little bit of of the brass because you know based on the beds that we just saw i've i've added some beans as well so it's starting to put a little bit of summer and winter together things are you know absolutely pumping look at this forest i can barely walk in here as you can tell uh, and the veggies are really loving and the plants are really loving to have the veggies here that whole side to the top side of the system where we had and still have the veggies the plants are just going berserk absolutely crazy busy prune those mexicans and flowers over there probably three or four weeks ago uh, and they are just 
now it's now it's a race now it's absolutely a race time to harvest you know life is busy we kind of not really keeping up and it, it just produced a lot more than we expected as well so we don't we don't have so many bellies here <laughs> to to eat all of that so basically everybody that comes here comes home with with a little bit of food uh, a couple of boys came to deliver a water tank for me came home for a little bit of produce the fella that is helping us kind of doing a bit of renovation as well getting broccoli and beans and everything home so that's the beauty of having surplus we can give it away and still feel awesome and that's that very very early first bed that we've had in here uh with the crotillaries full of now mature seeds we can hear them so definitely time to come and manage uh the madagascar bean have produced some some pods as you can see i probably got about a you know couple of handfuls worth of beans so i've got plenty of seeds for my next ones but it seemed to have survived well winter so you know we'll see see what's gonna be i mean i'm excited by this baby i think it could produce and i think it could be an agroforestry plant as well of course we'll need some kind of climbing system but in the middle here hmm, with something below i don't know it could be it could be an interesting one because it's a you know it, it, it's showing me that it has become a perennial vine um at least for over one i mean i haven't been here for a year but haven't survived it's winter uh being in a summer crop this is exciting so yeah so learning but plenty of plenty of uh work to go <laughs> as you can see uh things are just going super super crazy and the weather hasn't even turned up the goods here we've got just a little bit of a leftover uh bed as well which i'm not going to be planting anymore uh just a little bit of shallots uh a few leeks that actually pop for themselves that was from the previous bed that i left the root there and they just came back up nicely uh, yeah the bed struggle here the the strawberries really haven't received what they want a little bit of produce but look at these guys the ants are really coming and going man wrong place wrong time i'll take you out no worries so i'll probably have to come here and rescue them and maybe propagate them somewhere else uh, and over there we just got a little bit of cel celery just to finish that bed off um yeah and i'll just show you our last bed that i we planted in that system here was actually what i was thinking might be my thoughts i was gonna come and put a new veggie bed here but as, as i arrived here yesterday morning i just went man i'm just gonna have to do so much management just for that is the wrong time to manage i mean it's not the wrong time i could manage but i think when i'm when i manage those guys i want to manage the whole site i want to put new plants in i want to make sure everything just combines for the big 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 jump in growth for the system and not the veggies but this is the one that i've done probably a month ago getting through the forest here Whoa. oh there we go boom boom <laughs> so a little left over here a bit better carrots here they're a little bit older of course but getting some nice stubby oh let's see this baby oh that's not too bad beautiful uh not very easy to grow carrots on this soil but not too bad and this is the best kind of garlic and uh, strawberry combination a lot more strawberries coming out of here i'm just about to come and harvest i was uh, very excited we do have a few things coming and eating them but that's as much as we could produce garlics not the thickest but not too bad i think they struggle as well we had such a, a warm winter like most places on earth but yeah and that was the last bed that we've got planted here i think one bed which was just that last one here was probably three or four weeks ago doing really great it was crazy i had way too many ceilings and i just basically that was five lines of ceilings that we've planted in it uh trying some even some passion fruits there I'm not sure if it was the right decision given that this will probably not stay that for that long but we'll see i don't know uh we'll we'll play with things uh the turnips really did not enjoy all of winter here even though i put them as a as a big ceiling there healthy ceiling did not enjoy just getting smashed so no more for me you know we don't really enjoy that much but we like the diversity things are looking really good and i want to show you here a bit of an experiment that i've done um see this bed here this next bed basically that goes from there to here so this one i was quite tired and what i did was that first half there 
I actually mix, as I usually do, I mixed all my fertilizers and, and soil amendments by hand. It's quite a nice process, doing the top, you know, 10 centimeters. But I was tired, it was a hot day that day, I can remember. And then that second half, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it on the top. Kind of did a, a light um, raking on it. And, you know, the result speaks for itself. <laughs> Look at this, and I can tell, Look, even though it's still looking great and pumping, the difference, and there is a clear line where things change here. You know, the growth of the beans, the color of the plants, the vitality, look at the corn over there, the two corn side by side. Look at the size of the tomatoes, uh, gaps everywhere. Boom, boom, not so good. That one here, absolutely faultless. Everything is bigger, everything is healthier. Uh, no gaps whatsoever for you know, so it's it's worthwhile. This is telling me it's worthwhile by hand mixing out those amendments in. Seems like plants are able to to really, as the roots grow, they keep finding it. Rather than over here, we are basically relying on on water and and biological agents to bring it down. And you know, it's it's really visible the difference. Really, really, really visible. Uh, I hope you can see that. So things we do, things we learn. Uh, so we always paying attention and, and trying to make the most. Uh, but look at, <laughs> I mean, I managed those guys down the bottom here um, three or four weeks ago, just when I planted those guys. And it's just almost time to manage it again. So it's a bit of a race in the tropics. Uh, nothing happened here. So that was bad there. We just got some leftovers, Crutellaria, a few tamarillos and things. Uh, so that's going to be a, an interesting bed. I might actually do anything in that bed. Uh, just let the crotillaris and, and those plants do, do their things. Whereas the other beds, I will be adding additional plants now in spring. You know, thinking turmeric and, and ginger and things like that. Um, and now we moved into here. That's That was created for that. As you've seen, you know, perhaps on my previous video, that I'm just kind of trying to create the mound there. I've had sown lots of seeds, but the birds really enjoyed it. So wrong time, not enough moisture as well. So I'll redo that, no dramas. But this is here the latest bed. I'm still working on the design of the whole site on how things will go. This is not gonna be an agroforestry system. This is a very intense kind of market garden slash uh, grain production. I will have plenty of grass and some support species, but I can't afford to have, you know, basically 80, 90% of, of non-food production plants here. You know, uh, to me, I take this as a, as a farm organism, not as an agroforestry organism. So some of the parts of the farm, especially when we end up with, with cows and other animals that we want to have, we'll be bringing fertility up to here. So that's that's kind of the game we're playing. This is a premium site where we're going to have infrastructure, we're going to have water, we're going to have irrigation and, and all those things and different different ideas. So that's the, last, the latest one there. Uh, now pretty much going into summer. Uh, basically with, with capsicums and, and eggplants kind of down the bottom, some lettuce as well there. Uh, a line of basically beetroot, chives, beetroot, basil, chives. Basically that's what we've got on that line there. Um, that Those plants there is just some okras, one here, one there, and in the middle a corn, and that just repeats. And then on, on that kind of long line, as you can see there, that goes all along the line, all along the bed. It's just basically rocket and beans, uh, just bush beans, not climbing beans. And in the far back there, you can see cucumbers, more or less every 50 centimeters with a Madagascar bean. So that same bean that I showed before. So that's it. Exciting times here on the Lebanese farm or whatever we want to call this beautiful place that we inhabit. And we'll keep on sharing. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you one day here.